If I were to describe Katharine Hepburn in three words, I think it would be fierce, strong, patrician. Here is this woman from Connecticut who went out to Hollywood but never left any of her New England roots behind. She was as striking as an individual as she was in any of the characters that she played. I think one of my favorites is her playing Eleanor of Aquitaine in The Lion in Winter. And here she's supposed to be cast off by her husband and she is not gonna go. Could you imagine her baking? <laughs> I could not imagine Katharine Hepburn baking. However, I do know that she did bake because I have Katharine Hepburn's brownie recipe. Do you bake? I, <laughs> I do not bake, I do not cook. I make good scrambled eggs though. I did some digging when I heard about this recipe, and I don't want to break your heart, but you're not the only one who thinks that they have Katherine Hepburn's recipe. Okay, Both, but I have to be the only one who has it in her hand. I think that's true, and that's why I trust this, because this is different than the recipe the New York Times has published that they say is hers, and also Epicurious. But yours calls for bittersweet chocolate, and the other ones call for unsweetened baking chocolate. So these are sweet brownies. She liked, she had a sweet tooth. She also has quite a bit of walnuts in there. So a lot of recipes I looked at called for like a half a cup for this kind of batch and she called for a full cup. So you have a whole cup of walnuts and just a quarter cup of flour. So you're talking really fudgy, a lot of nuttiness and very sweet. So should we dive in and make these brownies? Yes. I mean, I think it's time, I'm getting hungry. So we have our melted chocolate and butter and with brownies, you really just dump everything together. Why don't you dump in the sugar? Okay, I just dump it. I just don't dump stir it, it in. Or, no. Okay. A lot of times recipes will call for the eggs to be beaten. She didn't do that here. And I think she was just like, why bother? I don't have the time. I'm Katherine Hepburn. Screw it. I'm going to just dump <laughs> my eggs in. So I would crack the eggs into the bowl first. And you do that just because if you get any bits of shell, it's easier to fish it out of there than to fish it out of the the whole mixture. Brownies don't have a whole lot of flour. That's what makes them brownies and not a regular chocolate cake. Uh, I just added a little salt um, in here to sort of keep the dry ingredients together. There's no baking powder, there's no baking soda, because all of those would give you like the nice fluffy cake. And again, yeah. we don't want that. We want chewy, fudgy brownie. Um, so eggs are really the only leavener. So you can go ahead and dump that in and you can dump in the walnuts as well. And there are, yeah, there's a lot of walnuts in this. That's a lot of nuts. But you could, you could leave them out if you're not into that. Um, and then you want to mix that just to combine. And do we add the vanilla now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I could have forgotten about that. So add the vanilla. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, look at how glossy and beautiful these are. And I think we're good to pour this into the pan. It really is pretty. And it wasn't really hard, right? Not at and all. And only one bad dish. I mean, these you can just throw in the dishwasher. Because you're not going to come here every time I want to do this? Is that what you're trying to tell <laughs> right, me? Right, I'm just one phone call away. <laughs> Your personal brownie lesson. So we're gonna do 325 degrees. It's gonna be 30, 35 minutes. So go ahead and put them in the oven. Oh, um, Catherine Hepburn, you did a pretty good job. Oh, these are really mm -hmm. good. They're really They're really good. good. So one of the things I love about brownies is they're so adaptable and, and changeable. And we talked about how Catherine kind of put her stamp on everything in life. So I would love to put Jared Bowen's stamp on these brownies. Is there any kind of food thing that you're really into that you feel like we could maybe, you know, mix into this? Well, actually, I am a bourbon boy. I Ooh, love okay. bourbon. And bourbon goes well with chocolate, right? Definitely. We could certainly do some bourbon and that would kind of infuse um, that flavor. I noticed you had a nice uh, French sea salt kind of container. Could you? I do. <laughs> I do. This is beautiful. Um, and I saw that it has some fleur de sel or some kind of like really nice sea salt in here. And I thought maybe we could just sprinkle that on the top at the end, kind of do like the sweet and salty thing. Does that work for you? That sounds fantastic. Awesome. I think a little bit of salt always really brings out um, the flavor in, in sweet desserts. And then the only thing that I want to change, and I really don't want to mess too much with Lady Catherine's recipe is I'd like to toast the walnuts. I think it'll just sort of, you know, give some oomph and some depth to that flavor and add a little bit of nuttiness. So, shall we attempt? I don't think she'll mind. I don't think so either. 
All right, let's try Jared Bowen's brownies. <laughs> See well, how they compare. They look good already. Cut right to the chase here. All right, they're a little bit gooier, but that's not a bad thing. No, it's not at all. Mmm. This is fantastic. Brilliant with the salt. Thank Brilliant you. with the salt. Definitely not the first person to ever do that, but I'll <laughs> take the credit. <laughs> I think it's delicious, and I think you can taste the difference in toasting the walnuts. Mm -hmm. I think it just kind of like permeates through the brownie. And the bourbon. Do we think Catherine would like these brownies? I hope so, because I would not want to square off against Catherine Hepburn. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jared Bowen, WGBH Arts Editor. And I'm Katherine Smart, Managing Editor of Craving Boston. Thanks for watching.